So I'm gonna show you how to take in a, a boxy t-shirt and make it a little bit more fitted so that it has a more feminine look to it. Okay, like one of the first things you wanna do is try your shirt on, put it inside out um, in front of a mirror and pinch it, make sure you pinch on both sides and just kinda of find out where it's gonna be comfortable and then put a pin or two. I just pin one side, uh, put a couple of pins in it to give an idea where you wanna take it in at and I want it nice and loose around the hips. So I'm just gonna let it kind of uh, go out. Okay, using way. the pins that we put in while we were looking in front of the mirror, I've also added some more to make a smooth line for me to stitch on. Now we're gonna stitch. I'm gonna use the straight stitch center, stitch number seven on this machine. I'm gonna set my stitch width at 6.5 and my stitch length just below three. That's just a good average stitch width and length for a straight stitch. For this sewing project, I'm using a regular zigzag presser foot. That's your basic presser foot that you're going to use for most of your stitches. And if you see, the needle is lined up right in the center, so we're using the center straight stitch. I'm going to line my fabric up in the machine so that my needles are lined up to the center of this presser foot. I'm going to go forward and back a couple of times in order to create a knot. Removing my pins before my needle can catch them. Don't want to break a needle. Check your fabric and make sure you remove any little lumps. You don't want to get any lumps in there under your stitches. I'm going to trim the fabric so that I can put a nice edge like the one that's originally on it. I'm going to cut about a quarter inch seam. Now as you can see I've got a nice trim seam, but this is just going to roll, so I want to give it a nice neat edge, similar to the one that comes from the factory. I don't have a serger machine which does this, but there's a stitch on this machine that will work just fine. I'm using the over edge stitch to finish up the seam on this t-shirt. Over edge stitch on my machine is at section 1. Your width is going to be set at just over 5 and your stitch length is going to be set all the way down here at one and a half. I'm still going to use the zigzag presser foot for this stitch. There's no need to change to an over edge foot. On this stitch the needle is going to move back and forth from left to right. Be sure that when it moves to its furthest left location it doesn't go across your new seam line. The idea with this stitch is to keep the edge of your fabric close to the side of this little hole right here. You want the, the thread to go over and catch the edge of the fabric to close it in. Now I have a nice clean edge to my fabric. It's closed up. It almost looks just like 
the factory serged fabric. On the in outside of my t-shirt, looks just like any seam. Now I'm going to do the other side and I'll show you what the final result looks like. There's our final product. It's more form-fitted, it has a narrower sleeve, uh, a more form-fitted waist, so it makes a t-shirt more feminine and fun to wear.